Hello friends, in this video I will thread the upper tension. I am starting where we left off last time and I will replace the top first. Here are the screws that have been safely stored in the receptacles. As you will recall, this is where we safely stored the screws that keep the top on. So I will take them off. And I had already oiled their receptacles when I removed them, when I took the top off. So I never lost those screws, and excuse me, getting in the way there for you. Now this machine, the story on this uh, this beast is that I bought at South Shore of Montreal, Longueuil, and it was 125 bucks Canadian, which is probably like 90 or 95 bucks American, and and it came with nothing, no pedal, no case or box. Nothing. It was here's the machine, and it didn't work. It couldn't rotate the the balance wheel, the hand wheel, and the reason the balance wheel, hand wheel wouldn't rotate is because there was a big piece of felt that was stuck up in there. And then what I just realized right now, while I was setting up to to get started here, is that is it right here? is a crack. Yeah. Right there. See that? And you can see it stops right there. Because there's that kind of supporting thing there. So so that's kind of interesting too. But we'll get that faceplate door back on as well. And then we'll we'll get to threading the beauty. So it's as simple as there. Slide them forward and then drop them down, close it, and then get the top. I know I already oiled the holes, but I'm going to put a drop on this guy as well. They'll be good for another 50 or 75 years or something. <laughs> you know, I mean, these machines were great value because. Well, they charged a lot for them, you know, in their, in their time of the day. And they lasted for life. You know, the sewing machine industry is famous for planned obsolescence, to try and stay in business, to try and survive. So there, enough about that. I can move those out of the way. And the thread, it goes right on this spring-like metal post. There's a nice black... Uh, Add there. So there's our black thread. Here is the spool pin where the spool thread goes. So I've got a spool of black thread. It doesn't matter whether the thread comes off this way or the other side like that. It doesn't make any difference. The first place we want to do is come across to this hook here. And we'll just hook it in there like that. And then we want to take it over to the front of the machine like that. It's going to come down like that. So we're going to bring it down, keeping it to the right, let it run along the thread guide in between the discs, and then pull it up there. And then it has to go behind this thread guide here, like that. Now we're up at the top. And we can bring it down to there. Push it in behind there, push it in behind there, and I continue bringing it down, and I put it into that loop there, like that. Now the thread needs to stay here, come down this side, and there's a little loop there, and it's in there just like that. And now it's ready to go to the needle, which I haven't installed yet, but I will shortly. Another way of looking at it is this angle here. Look at the thread and see right here how I let the thread guide push it in between the discs. And then I pull it up into the check spring. Here's a close-up view. We want it to come down here, slide it on the thread guide over to the check spring, pull it over. And then I want to hold on to this thread before I pull on the check spring so that it will seat 
Oopsie daisy, it didn't seat, so I'm just going to use my hand, and there, it's seated now. You can see how the thread has gone up and it's in there, and it comes back down here. That's what we wanted it to do. And now it goes up behind this thread guide, like so, and up to the pickup lever. Then it's really thread by numbers after that. We put the thread through the pickup lever. Oop. And then pull the thread down. And it'll just, there's an opening here on the wire, so it'll just slide right in there. Same here. Slide it in there. And same here. Slide it in. Oops, we got to go down a little. Slide it in there. And then from there, we want to, installing the needle, the flat side of the needle, we want to go to the left. And then it should seat in there quite. So there, I think I have it in there. There. And now for threading, it has to go from right to left. Let me see if I can get it in without even able, being able to see. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use a an assister. So here we go. I got to get this in there. Come on, baby. Okay, it's in. And then I want to pull it through like that. And there we've threaded the 301A. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. And please do come back again. And have fun. Stay safe. Please uh, check out the movies at the end of this video. And uh, check out some of the, the playlists that we have out there. I'd appreciate you taking a look at those. Thanks again, friends. Adios, amigos.